Hallelujah. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Still under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophet. Today I want us to look at a topic I titled Prophetic Deliverance. You see, every one of us need deliverance at every phase or stage of our lives, from one thing or the other, from one person or the other, from one habit or the other, from one sin or the other, from one evil or the other. At different times, at different phases of our life, different stages, we all need deliverance. You see, deliverance is not about being possessed by devils or demons. But the point there is that, you see, what you need to do to be delivered is what makes it prophetic. For instance, um, a, a, a man of God once said that, um, okay, let me put it this way. In the, in the, in the, in the New Testament, the Lord, the Lord appeared through an angel to Joseph, the uh, supposed father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, take the child and the mother and flee to Egypt because Herod is about to seek for the child. You see, that is prophetic deliverance. He didn't say, start praying that Herod will not come and kill the child. He didn't say, hide yourself. No, no, no. The instruction is clear. For Jesus not to be killed by Herod, that Jesus later called the leaven of Herod, which is the leaven of wickedness, it was said to him, Take the child and the mother and flee to it. And he says, remain there till I bring you what? That is prophetic deliverance. God specifically told him what to do to keep the mother and the, and the, and the baby in safety. It's not the time to pray. There's time to pray. And there's time to yield to God's specific instruction that will bring about deliverance from danger, from death, you see, from disaster, from losses and so on and so forth. I once upon a time, I wanted to uh, loan somebody money, and the person asked me. And just as, as, as I was about giving the person money, I had in my spirit, do not sow among the thorns. Then I back off. Beloved, you need to be very sensitive. Deliverance is something that we, we, we always need from time to time, from face to face, from stage to stage. In Sunday time, in diverse manner and Allah. Deliverance from death, from disaster, from poverty, from penury, from, you see, um, whatever, whatever. It is not just about demons. So prophetic deliverance is to yield, to listen and acting to the voice of God. Concerning what he wants you to do to be delivered from the pain, from the person, from the sickness, from the disease, and so on. Take note of this. I gave you the case study of Joseph in the New Testament, the supposed father of Jesus and the husband of Mary. Take the child and the baby. I mean, take the baby. The child Jesus and the mother and flee to it and remain there till I bring you words. When the time came, the angel of the Lord told him, Now those that seek the child's life are dead. Take the child now and go to go back to Israel. Beloved, you need to listen to, to the voice of God when it comes to deliverance. Sometimes God might tell you not to go out, to be delivered from the danger that is out there. And the Bible says somewhere that you will you will shut your door, you will not go out until the evil be passed. Okay? Before I got married, I remember the Lord showed me the, 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 the picture of a, a lady. And he told me that don't go around this person because she has been sent from the pit of her to destroy your ministry. Also, before I got married, the Lord gave me a group name. I must not marry people whose, whose name ended with that ke, 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 you know. It was so specific. It was so specified. So you have to be very careful. You have to know and note what you need deliverance from, where you need deliverance from, from where you need. Sometimes God will just tell you, stop going to soap place. Just for you to be delivered. From, you see, implications. Name it, just name it. I told, I once upon told you when I was talking about accident that I saw clearly that my vehicle had accident at this spot. On, on that ground, I stopped going, I, for months, that was my daily route. I stopped passing that place for one month. That delivered, I was delivered from accidents. So, you need to be sensitive in the spirit. You need to obey. 
when the Lord is speaking especially to you, whether through dreams or through visions. I remember I was, I was, I was living somewhere some time ago, and the Lord showed me a vision. The, the, my landlady was a wizard, and he, he told me in the, around December I should get some things. I should, I should pray on those things, wine, and some, uh, wine or so and some other things. I should pray on it, and I should give it to him. In other words, all the bewitchment, all the, I should return back his bewitchment. That was a, a prophetic action that bad deliverance. Okay? My first child was born in that house. And when my wife was pregnant, I remember that my wife saw in a dream that the man came and touched, touched his uh, stomach. That's not a good one. So we all need deliverance at different stages and phases of our lives. All you need to do to actualize this deliverance is to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. To obey God's voice. It can come to you, at, at, you see, in any form. It can come through a prophet, a prophetic instruction. I remember the Lord told me not to marry a white woman. You see that? Believe me. Deliverance can come at any level. God knows why. See, because if I do, there will be a spot on my, on, my, on my garment. I remember the word of the Lord came also concerning a, 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 a member of the premier school of the prophet that is going to marry a white, a white woman. As I'm talking to you now, he's married to a white woman. So you need to be very sensitive. Some people have broken marriages and whatever, whatever, because they did not yield God's instruction that will bring about deliverance. Deliverance is real, and we all need it at different stages and phases of our life. So for you to be delivered from that problem, for you to be delivered from that challenge, for you to be, to be delivered from death, from, from you know, impending doom, you just need to listen and yield to the Holy Spirit and obey what is the instruction, the given instruction, like I highlighted in, 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 in Joseph's case. Don't forget this. There's prophetic deliverance. It's not just about the prayer you are praying. It's about taking prophetic instruction that will save you. I remember uh, a, 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 the, the prophet, prophet, prophet Elijah told the king of Israel that he should not, Elisha to be precise, told the king of Israel that do not pass so, 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 and so, so place because the Syrians are waiting you there. They are, they are, they are, they are you see, they are, they are, they are, they are hidden, waiting to, to destroy you from that place. And the Bible said the king did not pass that place. He was saved twice or thrice from that, from that place. If he was not told that, look, avoid passing so so place because the Syrians are there. That is their hideout. Maybe the king will have been destroyed before his time. Beloved, deliverance is real. And we all need it at different stages and phases of our life. God bless you till we see you again tomorrow.